Good morning everyone. Another lovely crazy rainy day in Kata Beach. Last night, I would say yesterday, all day was raining, all day. Even middle of the night, I went to washroom, like I would say it was like three, four o'clock in the morning and it was raining. So the rain is just crazy for past, uh, I would say 24 hours. Since I arrived here in um, Kata Beach, it's just raining. Probably it's going to rain again. So anyways, I thought to myself, because now it's not raining, to come out and go for a walk a little bit. So, uh, my observation about Kata Beach, because last night you're going to see the content. I went to the night market. I went to the, I had two beers at the bar so just be honest with you there's no night nightlife here everything is closing very early and nobody was there pretty much nobody like just i would say 10 15 people so is like if and this is my advice for you guys like if you want a nightlife if you are one of those individual that you want a busy place nightlife Kata Beach is not. What you're gonna see here, night market is so busy, but after that, you know, the bar scene and stuff like that, no. Just one bar had a live music and it was busy, but after that, nothing. But overall, it's lovely, but except the rainy. The rainy, 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 just non-stop. So what I'm gonna do, as I said, I don't have absolutely no plan. So I'm gonna go for a walk. I hope you guys uh, like the journey. But it is very nice, really, really nice. But uh, except again, what you're gonna see, 99% Russian. There's a lot of them here, a lot of them. So, a uh, lot of them here, it's just like completely here invaded by Russian people, especially Kara Beach. Because in Patong you won't see them too much. In, um, what is that? In Kamala Beach even you don't see much. But here is just whole different ball game. It's just like 99.9%. .9%. Anyways, let's go for a walk. I wanna see different part of Kara Beach. And yeah, so again, I have uh, I booked up to October 18. Today is October 16. So I have today and tomorrow to stay here, and after that, I have to make my decision. Uh, that's it. Be honest with you, I'm a little bit tired of uh, Phuket enough uh, i spent enough time here uh, 13 days in uh, Potong and three four days here is going to be roughly like 17 18 days so enough we're gonna go to kusamuis guys so i need to get my tickets uh, and the lady that i find in Potong beach she was very friendly and she was giving me a fantastic price so it is raining. I cannot walk to Patong Beach, but I want to go for a last time that I'm here to go and have again another Persian food because I really like that uh, that kebab. So hopefully I can go and have it again. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it. And this is a bus stop, guys, for the smart, um, what is that? The smart bus. So if I wanna, for some reason, fly to, fly to Kusamui, I have to check the prices. Price is crazy. Uh, and really is not worth it. But if I want to go, or if you want to take this smart bus to 
to airport or Patong Beach or whatever, you have to come here. Right here. This is the spot that they're gonna pick you up. Right here. You see guys, this sign? It says Cara uh, bus stop, sorry. And the schedule is right right there. So yeah, the schedule usually on both sides. So this is the way back and that side they go to drop you off. Yeah. And there is so much Chinese here too. Again, my, uh, what is that? My Thai accent is kicking. So I'm walking to Kara Beach, guys. Let's see how far we can go. Hello. Sabari cup, sabari mine. Sabari, sabari. Well, there's a lot of nice resort here, guys. Again, it just depends on your budget. Now it's just mind blowing that low season and how many people here. Imagine that high season. Oh my god. And I didn't have no breakfast. It is roughly 11:30, so I got to have uh brunch. So hopefully I can find somebody good here to have something to eat. You see guys, everywhere is a plaza and shopping, 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 a lot of restaurants, I would say lots. That's the way it is, you see guys, all these streets is full of massages and, and food, a lot of restaurants and everything else. So now the question is, what we gonna eat? If you're not really focused on you know nightlife, yeah, there's a nightlife too. There's a lot of restaurants and bars, but there is no nightclub, I guess. I don't know, as far as I know. But they're totally different feelings here. Look at all this beautiful villa up there, guys. <laughs> Look at them, how beautiful they are, and the view is just like unbelievable. I don't know who lives there, Russian Mafia. Yeah, last time when I was there, when I was here two years ago, none of those uh, villa up there was exist. So, with all these Russians here, so obviously, there is uh, some people, they can buy those villas and build them. Oh man, look at how beautiful are they. And you have a beautiful sea view. Oh my God. Okay. So this is a market, I'm starving. Let's take a look. Let's see what they have. Because I gotta eat something, otherwise I won't have energy, man. Hello, somebody cup. Why she was so sad? Looks like miserable. Oh, all this fry, fry, fry stuff. Fried chicken. There is another uh, restaurant here with everything chicken fried rice and stuff. Hello, Sabari Cup. Last time I had a food here. I don't know if it was good or not. I remember. I don't remember. But let's go for a walk a little bit here. See what else here. Probably I'm gonna have chicken fried rice again. That's the safest things that you can eat. Yeah, this is another market. Wow, look at this barbecue. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Looks good. Okay, there's nothing else pretty much.
I gotta eat something. I gotta eat something. Oh, look at all this fry stuff. Fry, fry, fry. Again, another one here. Some uh, fruits and, of course, a lot of Russians. That's not good. Oh, what should I eat? I'm hungry. Should I eat fried rice? She's uh, no happy. She's looking at me so serious. No happy. Yeah, some people here is just like some of the employees here is so friendly. Some of them very miserable. But in Karabi so far is just most of them miserable. I don't know why. So first time when I came here, I I was staying here somewhere. It was very close to here. And really, it wasn't really good, guys. What is this? Oh, they have breakfast here. Oh, I don't want to eat that much food. I want to eat something simple, small. Bam, bada, boom, bada, beam. This guy is opening his shop. Okay, I hope there's a sign. See where I'm gonna go next. One thing that I, do, I really don't understand. Of course, you're here on vacation. Of course, you wanna enjoy your life. Of course, everything except Obviously, Russian people is just all over the place. Anyways, but one thing that I want to say, if you have a newborn kid, it's just like six months or one year. I don't know. I never had a kid, so I don't know. I cannot tell. But the, I saw Russian couple with no helmet. And the, the mom sitting in the back in this hill Look at it, how sharp it is. Look, and in the Moscow or Russia, there's not much bike drivers. It is cold, like Canada. It's just not like you learning how to drive motorcycle when you grow up. No, because it's a cold country. So kids here at 10, 10, 10 age of 10, they start driving bikes, this motorbike. So they know what they're doing. So, anyways, the mom, dad, and the newborn, I swear, I believe the kid was one year old. Holding the kid, and what they do, they going so fast. Are you kidding me? What? Are you a responsible parent? Like you're putting your life and the kid's life in danger. Are you out of your mind? I would never ever do that. Never. You're responsible for the kid's life. Mom doesn't have helmet. Dad no helmet. And the kids is just like one year old. Oh my god man. Okay. Still walking. I had my toast with cheese. And from 7-Eleven, I have a muffin, I have one banana, and I have my protein shake. So all cost me 107 baht. 107 baht translates to, and most of the, you know, 7-Eleven, the only big one that they cook you omelet, because it's big, so they can make you coffee, milkshake, and everything else. But the small one, no, they won't be able to do it. And for that reason, there's a crazy dog looking at me down there. That's why I'm walking past. So, yeah. So for that reason, I couldn't buy an omelet. Wow, look at these villas. 
Oh. Wow, this. Oh, this, I guess. I guess this is a restaurant or beach club. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. I had to come here and have a breakfast. I didn't know. Oh, look at this. Just like a beach club or something. Of course, Russian dressed up early in the morning. I don't know. I seriously don't get it. How the... Look at this beautiful place. Cafe and bakery. Kitchen. Co-working club. Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. That is lovely. So, for now, never mind. When I'm coming back, I'm gonna go grab something because already I have my so-called breakfast. So-called. So, well, let's see. How's the view from up here? Oh my God. Holy, wow, look at these villas. Guys, they have a rooftop and all the seats and everything up there. Holy macaroni. Look at this swimming pool here. Infinity pool facing water. There's some sitting area here, some sitting area here, all covered up because obviously it's raining like no tomorrow. Ah, it's good. We're discovering new places. And it's new. This is just a beach club. No rooms here. Oh, you see the building. Hello, how you doing? Hello. They're building something here. Something, something, something. Something, something is coming. Hello. See another kind of restaurant, beach club, so I don't know what it is. But look at it. Beautiful, man. Just sit there, food, cocktail, and music. Look at this, guys. Look. They're just sitting by the pool. Oh, sorry, by the, by the water. Look at this. Hello, somebody up. This guy is not too friendly, no happy. And you can go down there. I don't know what is it down there. Look how beautiful is it. And downstairs, there is something else going on. But the other one, I guess, is, is higher quality. Yeah, that one. Look at how big this, this one doesn't have swimming pool. Look at this view. What can I say about this view, guys? Okay, let's carry on. I didn't bring my charger. Shoot, I need to save some battery for a while. Another constructions. Obviously, another beautiful cafe or restaurant, and they have a small swimming pool here too. So, you know, at night in the evening, probably these places are packed. Packed. Because the view is a billion dollars view, guys. Look at it. Okay, let's save some battery, guys. I'm walking, still walking. Everywhere is beautiful here, seriously. But the one thing is, here there is no sidewalk. Look at this, look at that. Kind of cafe, but how you gonna go up there? Yeah, here, black art bar up there. So you can walk or you can go with the bike right here. But look, look how beautiful that place is. So funky. Alai. 
So again, some Thai restaurants here. Thai restaurants. So usually lunch here in Thailand is not, these restaurants are not really full. But for the, the dinner, sometimes you cannot find a spot to sit. Billion people here. Ravai is this way? Yeah? How many minutes walk? Uh, well, uh, Rawai Beach, Rawai Beach, Rawai Beach. Rawai Beach. 10 uh, minutes walk. Rawai Beach. Uh, uh, 10 minutes, 20 minutes walk. How many minutes walk? Walk, 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 walk. What? No. You don't walk? Yes. Okay. Uh, taxi, yes, go. No, no, no taxi, no taxi. <laughs> he wants to. <laughs> He's a taxi driver. <laughs> Said, don't walk, <laughs> take taxi. No, I don't want taxi. Look at this, guys. Look at those villa down there. Oh my god. Hello, yeah. somebody come. Beautiful, huh? Taxi said, don't go. I said, how many minutes walk, walk, walk? He said, no. Go with taxi. <laughs> it's battery, but it's just like magical here. Seriously. It, all the joke aside, it's just beautiful. Beautiful. But again, it is not one of those places that easy to walk. Really, really dangerous, but it's not a lot of people here. So thanks God. Because I don't have no sidewalk. You see, guys? And that's a little bit scary. Seriously. Because you see that, people start drinking at 10 a.m. It's just mind-blowing. And another thing is, last night I had like few beers. I decided this morning, because I'm getting a lot of headache, hangover, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. I don't drink heavy, just it like, because of the weather, you know, because it's so hot, usually cold beer, it goes so good. Especially when you're walking around, when you're tired or when you're chilling because of the weather, you know. Like in Canada, I never ever had a beer in winter time. It's just wine. Because first of all, wine here is very expensive and not really good. But good one is very, very expensive. So second of all, yeah, because it's hot, a lot of people drinking beer. But I get a lot of headache and like I don't want to drink any more beer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop for two months. I'm just going to exercise. That's it. You see guys, it's very tricky here. It is not safe. So I'm going to turn off the camera and be focused on the road. You see, around the corner they're coming at you. So you got to be very careful. So I'm going to turn off the camera and think about my safety. Yeah, I don't recommend this shit. The view and everything is beautiful. You, you're going to have a blast to walk here. Everywhere is green and beautiful, but it is not safe, guys. Absolutely not. So don't take this chance. Look how this fucking guy coming here. All is speeding. Oh, macaroni. So. A little bit scary. So, yeah, so basically, this is not the walk between Patong Beach to Kata Beach. This is much, much more dangerous. People living here, wow, look at it. This individual living in the middle of heaven, heaven on earth. Ah. I hear some water, waterfall down there or something. Yeah, but it is crazy. Crazy to walk through here. But I want to experience this shit, you know, like with the bike you cannot. With taxi you cannot experience this. But I'm putting my life on the line. So if you're watching this video, subscribe. Subscribe, I'm putting my life online. 
open your guys. Yeah, man, this road is not safe for walking. Absolutely not. But look at it. If you drive, are you going to see all this? Absolutely not. So, every time that cars comes in, I jump on the side for my safety, guys. I just... You know what, what I'm worried about when this guy's coming like this? The speeding? A lot of people smoking here and drinking a lot, especially the foreigners. So, shit can happen because these guys are out of control. But look at this beauty. Oh man. I don't know how many kilometers I have, but it just makes me worry really. This, this is really not easy. It is not easy walk, you see? The guy is just like he thinks he's a superman. Every time that I see some cars speeding on my way, I jump on the side. I cannot walk through there. I think I should try to walk here. It's much, much better. Holy shit. There's a dog coming after me. That's the last thing that I fucking want. Some aggressive dog to come and chase me. Because dogs here are not friendly, guys. Because they didn't see enough people in the middle of nowhere. So they can be very crazy aggressive. See? Oh, look at people living down there. Probably I'm not going to walk back, I'm going to get some sort of transportation, tuk-tuk or whatever, or bike to go back. Because this is not safe, guys. This is absolutely not safe. And I don't recommend it to anybody. See a smart bus. This is a smart bus, guys. This is the one goes from airport all the way to Rawai Beach. So, So you guys see that I'm walking, so I'm going to turn it off. I'm not going to put it on until I reach Rawai Beach. To be honest with you, I don't want to put my camera on because I have only limited battery. But when I see this beauty, like I, I feel bad not to share with you guys. Really, I feel really bad not to share. It's just like so beautiful. Although I'm putting my life on the line for you guys and I hope you guys just like, subscribe to my channel. I'm dealing with million things. Crazy dog. Really dangerous road. But when I'm coming back, I won't walk back. That's it. It is not safe. See, there's so many dogs here. Why that dog is so angry? So there is a road here, goes to the restaurant. Oof. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh. 
look at this. Oh, mamma mia. I just made decision when I was walking to the end of Kara Beach to come here. So, uh, and I didn't bring my charger. Let's see how many of Okay, yeah, I gotta turn it off because I wanna show you guys Rava Beach. There's absolutely no sign, nothing it says Rava Beach, and I'm still walking. A little bit freaks me out now. Because another thing that I didn't think about when I take this chance, monkeys. Because there's a lot of monkeys here, guys. And these monkeys are not friendly, really. They can destroy you. But I don't know, seems to me I'm here. What the hell is this? Around the corner, what is this? That's a viewpoint. Oh. I'm in some sort of viewpoint, guys. That's a Karun viewpoint? I don't know, Kata viewpoint? Yeah, Karun viewpoint. I saw this. So, so I made it, guys, to Karun viewpoint. I don't know after this how many minutes of walk I have. But just enjoy this view called Karun viewpoint. I don't know if I have to pay to go up there or not. But look at this. Gloomy weather is going to rain. But what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Look at this. walk here. I saw people walking through here so let's see where they're going. I follow them. Obviously most of these people they have a tour guide. Oh people going all the way down? I don't know where. Excuse me. this seriously you gotta take picture down there it's just lovely okay there's not much view here but I want to go down there and take picture oh look at this But the whole point is, this is the view. Raining again, raining again.
It's just non-stop, every single day. Actually, for past like 48 hours, every goddamn two two hours. So. Storm guys. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Oh. Look at this store. It just all of a sudden. Look at all these people stuck here. <laughs> Probably we are stuck here for a while. <laughs> Obviously, there's no more view. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I just dropped my camera, and thanks God, nothing happened. I drink, I get drunk, I fall down, no problem. <laughs>
probably I'm stuck here, <laughs> so I gotta go back. Probably Rabai Beach is not gonna work today. Guys, everybody came here with something, you know, with the tour or the car or bike. I'm the only one that walked here and I'm stuck here because everybody left pretty much. But I'm here. I need to wait until everything settled down and then I'm gonna move. Because the weather is not really good. I hope I can find something, you know, go bike driver or something. A tuk-tuk or a smart bus because I cannot walk back. Hello. <laughs> Still rainy. It was unbelievable experience. It was lovely somehow. I really loved that. Still a little bit of view. It is not clear, but I hope you guys can see it. It was a very off. My microphone, it was 11 off. It was a very unique experience, guys. Although I'm completely wet, but it's worth it. Here it was like full of people, but now nobody is here. <laughs> Only a few people left. So this is a Karun viewpoint. Thanks God to this, because otherwise, like, in one point it was like pouring rain, crazy. Are you go bike driver? Hey buddy, are you go bike driver? No, no, I'm talking to this guy. Hello? Are you go bike driver? Yes. Yes? Are you go bike driver? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Probably, I, I want you to drive me to Kara Beach. Kara Beach, Kara Beach, 200 baht. Yeah, right, okay. Okay? No, okay. <laughs> no, no, okay, so you walk, okay? Yeah, yeah, I work. Okay, you're not, you're not the driver. <laughs> No, I don't. Yeah, why you don't? Come on. <laughs> 200 baht. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, how much you want? You are not the driver. I don't need to talk to you. Uh, you walk in my face. Yeah, okay. You're not the driver, so I don't need to talk to you. Okay. Okay. Mm. Go away from my, uh, my country. The people not respect you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Look what the guy says. <laughs> the guy is absolutely insane. Everybody left, but it still is good. So 
the Rasta man is uh, racist. He said to me, get away from my country because he wants 200 baht and he don't have even I don't bike. Have, I don't, you don't speak it like that. <laughs> okay. Go away, you stupid. You know, people like you thinking you are, you are don't lie, it's better than bad. Man, no, fuck, it man can be better than you. People like you only come to steal, man. You don't, you need to respect the people first. Uh-huh, okay. I'm stealing because you wanted 200 baht, huh? Who is stealing? I, say, I just tell you for the, the price, for the, for the real thing. I don't need to talk to you, man. Talk more away. Okay, you go away. I'm standing here. Yeah. <laughs> go away, man. I don't want to hit your mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, your mom should hit you. Your mom is hitting you first. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The guy wants to show me a knife. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, everything on camera, my friend. <laughs> There's a crazy Rasta man up there. He's out of his mind. Be careful with that guy. <laughs> Yeah, the guy is just uh, out of his mind. He's a rusty man and he was showing me a knife. So I don't want to really talk to the guy. He's just, he's on camera. So he's disgusting pretty much. Yeah, so I'm gonna wait here. This is the Karun viewpoint. Right here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Just I need to find the right now to go back because enough of here. So let me just take one picture before I'm leaving. This is the Karun viewpoint.